Brittany, on this day, I give you my heart, my promise, that I will walk with you hand in hand. I will take you to be my best friend for life. I promise above all else to live in truth with you. To communicate fully and fearlessly wherever our journey leads us. Living, learning, and loving. Together forever. Today I join my life to yours. Well, on this day, I give you my heart, my promise, that I will walk with you hand in hand. I take you to be my best friend for life. I promise above all else to live in truth with you, to communicate fully and fearlessly wherever our journey leads us, living, learning, loving, together forever, today to my, join my life to yours. Their story starts in the summer of 2003. Both recent high school graduates, the pair met at a bonfire thrown by Will's Uncle Rick and Aunt Marcy. Will's family had recently moved to Louisville from North Carolina, and the two hosted a little bonfire to introduce Will to some people his age in the Falls Creek neighborhood. With Marcy and Brittany's stepmother, Leslie, being part of the Falls Creek Ladies group of friends, it was only natural that they asked Brittany to attend. Brittany and Will became quick friends and spent a lot of time together that summer. With a freshman year in college around the corner, Brittany bound for UK and Will for U of L, both will admit that the timing just wasn't right to be anything other than friends. Brittany included Will in various activities with her close-knit group those next few weeks. That fall, Brittany invited Will to Lexington for the annual UK U of L football game. They spent that weekend together and continued to grow their friendship. The next week, Will really impressed Brittany and a lot of her dorm mates by sending her flowers to her Blanding Tower dorm room. <laughs> they spent hours on the phone together that freshman year, talking, laughing, and growing their appreciation for one another. They tried to spend time together when they could. For example, when Brittany needed a date to go see the Nutcracker, she asked Will. Naturally, he said yes. As time passed and their lives grew in different directions, they eventually lost touch. Even though they may have been out of sight, they will both tell you that they always held a special place for one another in their hearts. Almost like a bookmark to that wonderful novel that you just never were able to finish. That all changed on St. Patrick's Day in 2018 when a twist of fate brought their lives together again. That day, Will was out enjoying the festivities at Molly Malone's with his cousin Morgan, <laughs> among other close friends. Brittany was also at Molly Malone's that day and Morgan happened to spot her. Morgan made sure that the two would reconnect that day. Brittany gave Will her phone number, but didn't hear from him for a while. So she decided to take a chance and invite him to a murder mystery dinner that she was hosting. He accepted, and this started them back on the path that continues forward here today. There were many stops along this most recent path, most notably the weekend they spent in Asheville retrieving Will's car that had broken down while he was on his way home from a friend's bachelor party. It was their first real trip together, and after that, they knew that this was the start of something special. And despite all the twists and turns that life has thrown at them, they ended up right where they belonged, at this altar here today. I've known since 17, you and me are meant to be. Say I understand I just want to hold your hand I don't believe a diamond ring 
promise guarantees anything But promises always true If I can't be there with you And I'll stay Till my breath goes away I will stay Till my breath goes away I'll stay
If you haven't figured it out by now, please allow me to make things crystal clear. You are not simply here for the engagement party of Brittany and Will, but you are also here to witness their wedding. <laughs>